As followers of Jesus, we need protection. We can trust with confidence that God is for us and God is with us every single day. You see, God's promises are real. God's promises in the Bible are real and true for your life and where you are right now. And when you have confidence and trust in who God is and His faithfulness, it will shield you like a faith force field from any danger that might come your way. So salvation literally means to be saved. So what are you being saved from? Well, God wanted us to be with Him forever, but our sins separated us from Him. So God became man, died on a cross, and rose again three days later so that your sins could no longer keep you away from Him. And when you believe that, when you ask for God's forgiveness, you receive His salvation. And for those of us who have done that, we don't need to second guess it. We don't need to be insecure about it. Believe in your heart and in your mind that God sent Jesus to rescue you. And that's it. It's, it's, it's done, it can't be undone. He's not going to change his mind. When you receive his salvation, it's yours forever. So you don't need to raise your hand every time the pastor asks who wants to accept Jesus. You don't need to renew anything. It's, it's, it's there, it's done. God chose you. You choose Him, it's a done deal. You don't have time for mind games. So don't get lost in overthinking it. You know your mission. Stay the course and see things for what they really are. So what do we do? Learn God's Word and apply it. Learn God's Word and apply it. We learn God's Word and we apply it. That's how we stay sharp. Stay sharp. Well, when you face day-to-day -day struggles, equip God's truth, His righteousness, God's peace, faith, and salvation to cover up your life like armor. To cover us like armor. That's how we suit up. And when we suit up, then everyone, everyone seen and unseen, will know which side you're on.